Hi everybody and welcome to Honors Biology at Desert Ridge High School. This is vodcast number seven and today we are going to be talking about your digestive system. Okay, we're going to begin uh, talking about the digestive system and uh, just we're going to really start off just in real general terms uh, to kind of understand what digestive systems in general, what they mean, what they are. Uh, before we get going though, uh, I would just uh, remind you to update your table of contents, um, update your, get all of your organization of your notebook uh, set up. Uh, the information I'm going to give you goes on the right hand side uh, and there are just a few terms that we're going to be defining is all that we'll, uh, that we'll be doing today. Okay, to get started, um, it, I think it's useful to sort of think a little bit about why we have a digestive system. Uh, this, of course, you know, not everybody eats meat, but a uh, great many of us do. And uh, the, the image of a cheeseburger is, I think, kind of a good one to, to think about when we think about our digestive system. Um, and if you know anything about foods, which most of you I'm sure do, uh, you know that this consists of some protein, there's some protein in there, there is some fat in there, there are some carbohydrates in there, and these are all uh, some of our, our basic food elements, uh, our, our basic uh, molecules of, the, uh, of food that we'll be talking about. Um, and, and so we know that somehow that you you'd start off with something like this uh, and then it goes into this digestive system and somehow a bunch of stuff happens and it comes out well you know how it comes out uh, but we get energy from this food uh, and we also somehow get materials that uh, our bodies use but what we probably don't know is exactly how does that happen. Uh, what exactly happens along the way? What are the processes that are involved? How does that, how does that work? How does, how does our body sort out the protein from the carbohydrate and so forth? Um, and that's what we're going to be learning about a little bit as, as we get into uh, this coming unit. Okay, the first thing I think it's useful to look at uh, before we start talking about our own digestive system is to look at something really, really, really simple. And of course, uh, our friend the earthworm is about as simple as you can get uh, for a digestive system uh, as far as something to, to look at and see what it does. Um, an earthworm's digestive system is very much like ours. Uh, it's a little bit simpler. It's basically a tube. And if you think about uh, our digestive system, it's very much the same way. We have one end of the tube that we call a mouth, uh, and that is where uh, food comes in. Uh, that food that comes in uh, to our mouth gets, of course, kind of chopped up and chomped up and smashed up and mixed with a bunch of stuff. Uh, that process we call ingestion, where you ingest your food. Uh, and then the next process that begins to happen is that food is broken down into smaller pieces and we call that mechanical digestion where we're physically chopping up <clears throat> the food item whether it's a cheeseburger or an apple or in the case of the earthworm uh, just some some soil that food gets broken into smaller pieces uh, and then the next step is that those pieces uh, become dissolved into individual molecules and we call that chemical digestion. Okay, so we have two different forms of digestion that take place. One is mechanical, the other is chemical. Okay, and then the next thing that uh, of course is involved here is we have various accessory organs. Uh, and in these accessory organs they produce chemicals uh, which we call enzymes. Um, but there are some other chemicals as well that are involved that we will uh, learn about um, that are produced to aid in, in the digestive process. In our body, these are, uh, like I said, enzymes, but we also have uh, various hormones that are involved, um, and we have um, a, a number of other substances, uh, things like hydrochloric acid that are involved in digestion, a few other substances along the way. These are produced uh, in uh, organs called accessory organs. 
then the next step that <clears throat> has to happen along the way is that uh, some of these molecules are then absorbed into the animal's body. In this case, the molecules are absorbed into the earthworm's body. In our case, of course, the molecules that are useful uh, are absorbed into our bodies and go into uh, uh, provide us either with energy or with nutrients. And then the rest, of course, is excreted from the other end of the tube. So all of the non-useful stuff uh, that we can't utilize uh, leaves through the other end of the tube. Okay, so if we look, uh, this is, a, of course, a photograph of an earthworm, but if we look at a diagram of its digestive system, um, it is very, very similar to ours. We don't have a crop or a gizzard, uh, but those do the same functions as, as uh, basically our mouth and stomach, uh, as those organs do for us. So the same exact functions, ingestion, mechanical, chemical digestion, there are accessory organs, uh, absorption is taking place and then finally wastes are excreted um, at the other end of the tube in the earthworms just as in us. Um, and we're going to see that this simple digestive system, uh, the same types of functions are going on in here. So what we're going to be looking at uh, on the next podcast is exactly what happens at each of these organs and uh, what takes place in each of them. Uh, so that we can begin to understand a little bit more about this process. Okay, and that is going to wrap this up. This has been Vodcast 7 for Honors Biology at Desert Ridge High School. I'm Mr. Galladay, and I hope you have a great day.